This is CBY, Christian Broadcasting of Yakima, your local Trinity Broadcasting Network affiliate, bringing to our valley quality Christian programming for over 20 years. story is Sean and Tamil Niles, youth pastors of Christian Life Center. Both have a strong calling on their hearts to reach out to the youth of our valley. You'll hear their personal testimony, we'll chat with some of the youth, and later check out the youth ministry. Great stuff ahead. Stay with us. I'm Heidi Fast and welcome to GNG. yourselves like your fam and where you grew up and so forth well right now it's just the two of us we, uh, we've been married for going on almost four years so it'll be four years in August and that's exciting but just two of us starting to think about a family and getting that started but we, uh, we have lots of kids here in the youth group and so they're enough for us right now <laughs> 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 so I, I grew up here in Yakima and uh, so I was the, the last of five kids I was very unexpected my, my oldest brother is in his mid 40s and then the brother after me is actually, he's uh, 12 years older than I am. So I'm very, very much the last one You're in my the baby family. Baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But grew up here in CLC and got to attend this church and be under some great pastors and great leaders. And it's been really exciting. And then I moved out of here when I was 19 and ended up meeting my wife, Tanil, in New Jersey, where I was a children's pastor. And uh, she wasn't in the children's church. She was, you know, but, um, <laughs> no, but, she, uh, um, but we met and we got married um, about a year and a half after that. So, yeah, and this is her. This is my wife. <laughs> I actually was born in Trinidad in the Caribbean. And um, I grew up in New Jersey for most of my life, for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. And um, I did not grow up in a Christian home. But I, uh, through friends and, you know, other churches got me involved. And so I met Sean while I was going to church in New Jersey. And kind of started from there. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Now you guys go back before you were saved and talk about when you decided to make that personal commitment to follow Christ. Growing up in a Christian home, it was, um, you know, it was one of those things. I, I got saved when I was three years old. I gave my heart to the Lord. You know, I knew that I was a sinner because I had told my mom that I wasn't, that I was eating my peas when I really hadn't been. And so, you know, I knew I was going to hell. Uh, but I gave my heart to the Lord. And, uh, and just kind of continue to grow from there. It was a real childlike faith. And I still, that's something that I strive for as I get older. I want that childlike faith. Um, as I got older and as I got into middle school, things were different. I wasn't the popular kid and I got picked on a lot. And it was really hard. And so when I went into high school, um, I knew I really wanted to keep any friends that I had. And so for me, I was scared that if people found out that I was a Christian, then I was going to be laughed at. Or I was going to lose my friends, you know, whatever the case may be. And so I got involved in the drama club, and I really didn't want my friends to find out that I wanted to be a minister, that God had called me into ministry. Um, and so one day, one of the kids came up to me, and one of the seniors, popular senior, came up, and he said, Hey, I, I heard that you want to be a, a minister after you get out of high school. And I was so scared. I started shaking, man. I didn't know what to do. I was sweating, you know, bullets. And, um, but I didn't want to lie. And so I said, you know, I do want to be a minister. God's called me to be a minister. And I didn't know what to expect. I thought he was going to walk away. I didn't know what to do. But he looked at me and said, you know, I really respect that. That's awesome. And it was such an awesome moment for me because all of a sudden I knew that my faith had become my own. It was my faith. It wasn't just a prayer that I prayed anymore. You know, it wasn't just living off of my parents' faith or my grandparents' faith, it was my personal faith. And for me, that was really, um, I guess, my salvation experience. Even though I grew up in the church, I needed to make my faith my own. Exactly. Well, growing up in a secular home, um, just I had the world crashing in on me, and I wasn't a very strong Christian because I went to the church because of friends, and so my Christianity was based on them. But um, 
I kind of got to the point where things were so depressing and so oppressed that I, I had to turn to something and um, meeting Sean and you know being in ministry kind of thrust me into being committed to Jesus and really putting my faith in Him and my trust in Him so that really took me out of the world and it's been going from there. <laughs> Now, Sean and Tenille, talk about your experience of living a Christ-centered life. What's the benefit of it? I guess for me, growing up in a Christian home, seeing all the things that God did to take care of my family, um, we stayed in the Word. My parents were very vocal. My, my mom and dad you know, constantly read the Bible to me when I couldn't read, and we studied together when I could. Mm -hmm. And so seeing that, we didn't have a lot growing up, um, and God would always provide, still yet. My dad owned a small paint body shop, and... Um, you know, we would be tied on money and God would bring in a job at the last minute and we would be fine every single time. They tithed. They taught me the principle of tithing. Um, and so staying um, in God's word and trusting God no matter what the circumstances, um, there's no other way to live. There's no other way to do it. And so I've seen the benefit very clearly in my life through growing up with a family that was faithful. Because uh, I grew up in a secular home, um I missed out on a lot of stuff. I didn't have a very good relationship with my family. And so having that relationship, that intimate relationship with Jesus Christ has replaced so much of what I lost and so much of what I missed out on when I was a child. And so just having that knowledge and that assurance that I have somebody and that I have a Father in Heaven who is you know, looking out for me and who is going to hold me in his arms. It's just the most beneficial thing that I think I can take with me out of any experience in my life. Sean, tell us what, what kept you grounded and what advice would you offer to teens and young adults today? Stay in the Word and prayer. and I, That seems like such a cut and dried answer, but it's the only equation that I know that absolutely works is you've got to stay in the Word and you've got to stay in prayer and God will sustain you. That's what He promises. You know, He didn't promise the children of Israel prime rib. He promised them manna and it was small and it was little, but it sustained them. You know, and God, if you stay in His Word, He's going to take care of you in every single situation. And when you continue in that, you know, He's going to provide. Currently, you guys are the youth pastors here, so tell us about the youth group and what does it offer? We've got an awesome group of teens. They're, they're amazing, um, and I think that anybody who comes is going to see just a, a liveliness, a joyfulness. Um, they're excited. They're um, excited about serving God and being a part of what God's doing here in Yakima. Um, and so we have a lot of stuff that goes on throughout the year, whether it be um, the um, once a year, twice a year things that we do, or whether it be the weekly stuff. We have youth group on Wednesday nights at 6.30. We start at 5.45 with a free dinner. And then so the kids can come and they can eat, and it's always just wonderful. We have a lady in the church that does a fantastic job. Um, and then we go into our main service. Sundays is Sunday school. We have our discipleship program, which is called Elevate. And then on Sunday nights, we go into small group ministry during the main service, um, and we break off into different small groups and talk about different subjects. And then Tuesday morning is our Bible study at Starbucks before school at 6.15. So you need to have coffee and Jesus is pretty awesome. good. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> and we also have a dance group um, that once in a while uh, when we have free time, because <laughs> obviously we're so booked, um, yeah. but we, we have a great time. The kids love to do drama. So, you know, once in a while we'll put together one and have them perform, you know, in front of the church or at an event. Um, last year we took them to the fair and they had a chance to do uh, about four or five dramas in front of um, a big crowd. So it was great to get them out there and into the community. Mm -hmm.